in honor of Stephen in his city of New York. We're very close to his favorite parish, St. Francis Parish, on 31st Street. So we're going to open with the prayer of St. Francis, bringing peace to this building, this city, and this world. For those who know it, please join me. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, I may bring love. Where there is wrong, I may bring the spirit of forgiveness. Where there is discord, I may bring harmony. Where there is error, I may bring truth. Where there is doubt, I may bring faith. Where there is despair, I may bring hope. Where there are shadows, I may bring light. Where there is sadness, I may bring joy. Lord, grant that I may seek rather to comfort than to be comforted, to understand than to be understood, to love than to be loved. For it is by self-forgetting that one finds, it is by forgiving, that one is forgiven, it is by dying, that one is awakened to eternal life. St. Francis of Assisi and Detective Stephen McDonald. Amen. 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 Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Patty Ann, Connor, NYPD dignitaries, distinguished guests. Um, good afternoon again. Uh, thank you for attending the dedication and renaming of our main office of the finest federal credit union to the Stephen D. McDonald Memorial Headquarters. Uh, the idea of the finest federal credit union was started 14 years ago by NYPD inspector Paul McCormick and attorney Bruce Jolly. The NYPD was and is the largest police force in the world, and Paul didn't understand why it didn't have its own credit union, you know, its own financial services. Uh, he's from Ireland, and Ireland has a tremendous credit union presence, and it just didn't make sense. So Paul set his sights on starting this credit union. He also sends his profound regrets that he's unable to attend today, because unfortunately he's attending the memorial services for a 60-month-old niece that had passed. Paul, Paul sends his regards, and he's sorry he's not here. Uh, Paul McCormick, Inspector McCormick, had on several occasions asked Detective Stephen McDonald to speak to his troops when they needed a morale booster or they were down in any way. Detective McDonald, on sometimes very short notice, never turned Paul down and always came to the rescue. His words of inspiration and hope always seemed to be the best remedy for everyone. Paul couldn't stress enough the magnitude of the true inspiration that Stephen represented and that he stood for. He was the ultimate hero within the NYPD and beyond. There was never a doubt in Paul's mind who the first member of the finest federal credit union should be. Detective McDonald filled that role and so much more. The finest federal credit union field of membership consists of all law enforcement officials in New York State. This includes uniformed civilian retirees and your families. In, in true spirit of Detective McDonald, we don't want to be another, you know, checking account, a savings account, just anywhere. There's only four in every block in New York City here. We want to make a difference. We want to provide value that our members, primarily, you know, the men and women in blue, could take back to their families, could make a difference in their lives, and we're just not another bank account, another customer, another number. We want to be so much more, and that's why our officials have thought of services like the killed in the line of duty insurance that we were coming out with very soon. What that means is, and I'm not here to sell anyone anything, I'm just here to let you know the kind of things and how we're making a difference. So what that means is, if members of our credit union have loans up to $850,000 in aggregate, and that could be a mortgage loan, an auto loan, God forbid, if that member is killed in the line of duty, that debt goes away. And the member doesn't pay for that benefit, the credit union is paying for that benefit. So if you're going to take out a loan, take out a mortgage, take out an oil loan, you might as well do it with an institution that's going to help protect you. And that's the kind of services that we're trying to give back to our members. Uh, I would, I would like, and I don't want to be very long here. I know, you know, it's a little warm. A lot of people here. I need to thank Mr. Vincent Levien. He's the trustee of the Silver Shield Foundation, among his other duties, but providing great assistance in the growth of our credit union. He's always there for us. Um, also, you know, some of our dignitaries are here, uh, board members, Luke Waters, uh, and, uh, our chairman, George Mifsud, is here. We have Terry Tobin, which is here, right here, one of our directors as well, and all of our employees are here as well. 
Uh, I, I, we can't do this without. Without our directors, without our employees, there is no finest federal credit union. Of course, without our membership, there's no credit union. At this time, I'd like to introduce, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm holding this for board. We, we have helped already in two short years over 1,200 loans, low interest rate loans that we've given to our members. And once again, I'm not here to sell or promote loans. I'm here to tell you that the first thing we tell our members is you only take out a loan if you have a high interest rate credit card, if you need money for equipment, if you need money to pay for a certain expense, but otherwise loans are no good. But if you're going to take one, we've issued already over 1,200 low interest rate loans for $4.2 million to our members. That's how we're trying to give back as well. Without further you know, marketing here, I'd like to introduce our chairman, Mr. George Mifsud, retired Thank you. captain. Good afternoon, everybody. First of all, on behalf of the credit union, myself, and the board of directors, I want to thank everybody who took time out of their day to make it here on this special occasion, all the MIP executives. Uh, there's too many to start naming. There's, there's a lot of them out in the hallway. Thank you very much. It means a lot, not just to us, but to Connor, Patty Ann, and the rest of the family. Keith covered a lot of the stuff that I, I wanted to mention. I just want to just add a, a personal story in there. When Stephen was injured in the line of duty back in the summer of 1986, I wasn't even with the NYPD. I was only 16 years old. Now, I knew about it because my father was a member of the NYPD. So he has impacted a lot of people who were not even on the job back then. And then I came out in 1991. I met Stephen at various events. And he, he has, just, has done so much. He's been such an inspiration for, for everybody going out to roll calls, different functions, and, and speaking to people, and really placing things in perspective. Like sometimes these, these younger people on a job think that it's they have a bad when they, they really don't. And Stephen would be that individual to to really uh, boost up their morale. Like Keith had mentioned, this credit union was a work in progress since 2007. When we finally got it rolling about two and a half years ago, I still remember the phone call. I was away in the Caribbean, and Paul McCormick, the founder, called me up and said, George, we're going to start, and we need to have somebody who's going to be our number one account holder. And my, right off the bat, I said, Stephen McDonald. And then he had told me, after speaking to all, of the board, all the other board members and everybody involved, that unanimously, everybody said that Stephen should be the number one account holder for uh, the credit union. And without a doubt, he's definitely uh, was, was the right um, person choice. And now Patty Ann and Connor, you guys are here to, to um, keep Steven's legacy going on. The great man that, that a lot of people don't know about, but they will know about, especially that you're still active in, in everything that you guys and, and the family does. So on behalf of everybody at the credit union, we want to rename, with your blessing that you gave us, rename the credit union to Steven McDonald Headquarters. So if I could just reach up here and take this off, here's a sign that we made. We also have a, 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 a plaque for Patty uh, and a comment to the back home. You, you guys gave him that plaque uh, when you opened. Yes, and we did. You, it's in the uh, special room in the house. We see we have a number of things as well from Mr. Rector. Nice. Was, God bless. Who wants to wear a hat? I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> 